guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nat. Thank you for checking the video out. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a few things that you need to know before you actually begin your studies in biomedical sciences. Not going to be easy. If you are not a science person, don't do it. Do not pick it. If you do not enjoy sciences, don't do it. Honest to God, do not go there. Other thing is, you need to think where you want to be in life. What do you see yourself within the next five years? Do you actually want to become a biomedical scientist? And do you actually want to work in a laboratory with the test tubes, the blood test tubes that you get? Or do you actually want to, I don't know, work in retail? Do you want to be a manager? Do you want to do that? Don't just pick biomedical sciences because your parents are telling you to. That is the wrong thing to do. Trust me. Because if you don't have a passion for whatever you're studying, you're going to fail. You're not going to do it. Now, for those of you that actually want to do biomedical sciences, uh, there are a few things that you need to know. Now, when I started my degree, no one told me that you have to expect this, okay? Uh, yes, obviously, I should have done probably my own research. But my idea was doing medicine after biomedical sciences, you know. And I decided against it. My plans changed. I actually enjoyed what I was studying and I wanted to become a biomedical scientist, you know. And I just wanted to finish my bachelor's as soon as I can. So rather than doing a sandwich course, I did a three-year course and I finished within the first three years, yeah. Now... I was wrong. I was so wrong. I wish I should have done the sandwich course. And if you're out there who wants to do biomedical scientists, sciences and want to become a biomedical scientist, make sure you do the sandwich course. You need to make sure that you do the sandwich course. Why? Because first year, you're just introduced to the course, yeah? Second year, you're getting there. You're kind of understanding more and more what is a certain thing called biomedical sciences you know third year which is the gap year you need to get yourself a placement at that placement of one year you will be finishing off your portfolio you will be doing your portfolio and your final year is obviously you come back you do your thesis and boom that's it you're done now why you need to do this year because if you don't do this year like me and you just do the first three years without actually achieving a portfolio, you're going to go into this world of hell. You're just going to go into this. Trust me, I was shocked. Like, I'm, I'm a new qualified person, you know? And I want, I assume things are going to be easy. I assumed I'm going to go here, get a job, one year time, finish my portfolio, blah, blah, blah. I was working and I, there, there were people actually working way before me, like two, three years before me. They were not even on doing their portfolios. Doing a portfolio is so hard. You need to do the HCPC portfolio in order to become a biomedical scientist. And no hospital will, well... They will, but some of them, majority of them, are not willing to put effort, time, money into training someone to become a biomedical scientist, okay? It's going to be tough for you to do a portfolio once you actually finish your degree. So if you can, then make sure to do the portfolio in that gap year and do as much experience, gain as much experience as you can whilst you're studying. Contact teachers, contact students, contact me. You can write below the comments. I will get back to you. Ask your questions. Do your research. Do not be like me. I came and studied this degree blinded. I didn't know anything about it. I just read the modules. I liked it. And I was told that it can take me to medicine. So I did it. But thankfully, I actually enjoyed it. There were some people that hated it. Some people dropped. Some people were like, what the hell is this? I'm going to do completely some different um, degree. Some people just went back to maths. Others went to psychology, you know? It's not for everyone. You need to be competitive when it comes to yourself. Do not compete with anyone else because that is the thing that will actually hold you back. 
if you're competing with someone else, it's like you're measuring your success using someone else's ruler. Uh-uh, it doesn't go there. Like, it doesn't work like that. Don't even do that. Because if you ask someone, example, oh, have you, have you started the essay? Have you started the coursework? They'll be like, you know what? No, I haven't. That will make you feel good because, oh, like, I'm not the only one. We've all been there. We've all done it. But secretly, that person might have finished it. There were some people like that in my degree. They were like, oh no, I haven't even started, it's so hard. But they were just finishing off their references, you know? Just work at your own pace. Contact the teachers. Uh, get your research, you know? Oh, my leg is itchy. My foot is itchy, actually. Another important thing is you will be able to use what you're learning for the rest of your life. So obviously, whatever you learn, you will take it along with you. And there are some things that just stick to your head like that. And there are some things that as soon as the test is finished or the topics, topic is finished, it's just going to poof out of your mind completely. But studying biomedical sciences actually helped me in my everyday life as well. So obviously when my mom or my dad or any of my relatives, friends, they do their blood test and they want to fully understand their results or whether you want to fully understand your own results, you know, um, you will actually know what is what and you will actually be able to maybe do a little bit of research to actually just fill out those gaps that you maybe forgotten or you don't fully understand but you will have like a general picture of everything and you will know what test is for what and why do they do it so if they do lfts which are liver function tests why do they want to check the liver you know that means there's something wrong with the liver but then that could also mean something else like they want to do your full blood count why do they want to do your full blood, blah, blah, full blood count? There could be so many different reasons and it depends on the additional tests that come with the full blood count that you can actually decide that, okay, this could be because this person is suffering from this or this could be because this is happening, you know? You will take that medicine um, or these things that biomedical sciences study. Their medicine and biomedical sciences go completely hand in hand. They complement each other. Whatever you learn in biomedical sciences, you learn in medicine. But I'm guessing not to that level. And obviously whatever you learn in medicine, you kind of learn in biomedical sciences, but obviously not to that level, you know? They both complement each other. They go hand in hand together, but they're completely different. They, they're similar, but so different, if that makes sense. Whatever it is, a degree is hard, okay? A degree, you're supposed to suffer for the rest of your life. Studying, studying. Stu, student, dying, dying. Student, dying. Get it? Okay? Studying is hard, okay? You need to understand that. It's not something easy, and it's not going to just come into your head with a click of your finger. No. You need to study for it, you need to dedicate time for it you need to not leave things last minute but then again you get to experience the undergraduate lifestyle you get to whether if you've moved out you get to enjoy the halls if you're living in you get to enjoy going out with your friends to different places you know staying in late in uni in the library or going out to lunch with friends or just chilling in the common room or just you know Doing all-nighters in uni, because I did all-nighters. For my bachelor thesis, I did five all-nighters. I didn't go home. I was dressed in the same clothes. I just went, brushed my teeth, came back. We used to have these beds on, like, the fourth floor. And we used to go there. It was like a medical uh, bed thing for sports science students. And we just used to go there, sleep for, like, an hour or two, and come back until the next day, go back, sleep for an hour or two, and this was all in uni. Go Tesco, buy our food, quickly come back, breakfast, food, this, that, until it was finished, you know? You will enjoy that. Those are the memories that I'm just thinking, whoa, I can't believe I went through that. Whoa, I can't believe I went through that. Those memories will stick by me wherever I go. I can actually tell those stories to my children. Well, maybe not all of them, but you know. Studying biomedical sciences is not just about studying biomedical sciences, you know? It's not just about theory. You get to learn a lot of other things alongside. You get to become confident. You, be you get to become, you know, um, you just come out of your shell. You, you improve your communication skills, your eye for detail. Everything that you were before you studied biomedical sciences and everything you are after you studied biomedical sciences, there's going to be a gap in your life, basically. Before who you were, bef before who you were, no, who you were before you started, 
biomedical sciences, who you are after you studied bi started biomedical sciences. You will learn a lot of things from it. When you're going to study in your first year, most likely first year, human anatomy and physiology, it's not just going to be about studying pictures. It's You're going to actually visualise it in your brain. You're going to have a lot of fun. Obviously, you're going to have the non-fun parts, you're going to want to pull out your hair, you're going to hate your teachers for giving you 10 course books within the period of one week, well it's never that bad but it's, it's it might as well be, you know, it's, it's bad, like you lose your head, unless you actually start the courseworks on the day they're given and not leave it to last minute, then I guess you won't be stressed about it as much as I was. Uh, in your undergraduate degree, you will make and meet your closest friends there, you know. You just need to kind of cherry pick them because not all of them are good, not all of them are bad. But just make sure you don't get used because that's the worst thing that can happen when you're in uni. Getting used for your knowledge, getting used for your money. And getting used for your company you just need to be wise and not naive you know share the workload equally amongst the group of friends that you have another main key aspect is organization organization is the key to success that's what I've always told myself and that is what I believe in and that is this motto that I kind of worship if that makes sense if you are not organized if everything doesn't have its own correct place you are not going to succeed. If you do not organise your paperwork, your documents on your USB, documents on your computer, your laptop, everything's just going to be everywhere. Your mind is going to be everywhere. You're not going to know what to focus on and you're just not going to do well. So organise your work, um, organise your mo modules, write a calendar, write out when your exams are, when your deadlines are, set out goals for yourself. By the end of this month, I have to do this. By the end of this week, I need to go through and make notes on this. Exams are coming up in May, June. I need to focus on this exam first, that exam ne next, and so on. You need to make notes. You need to memorise. You need to educate yourself, present stuff. All of that needs to be organised. And in order to be organised, you need to mentally prepare yourself, okay? Now, I hope this has been very helpful for you if you want to become a biomedical scientist or if you want to study biomedical sciences. Now, like I said, if you have any questions, comment down below. I will get back to you. And um, yeah, so I will be making other videos about the modules and different aspects of the actual biomedical sciences degree. Uh, it's going to be a retrospective thing, though. It's going to be like looking back on it rather than going through with it with you, if that makes sense. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up. Any questions, comment below.